We're back live, my friends. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Thank you so much for joining us. The news websites are prisonplanet.com, infowars.com. We have a new story that just broke at infowars.com with updates. NSA whistleblower Edward uh, Snowden goes missing and obviously got, uh, they thought he got on the plane. The press all got on the plane. It was a bait and switch. WikiLeaks' Julian Assange has given a press conference during which he said Snowden was safe but refused to divulge his location. And again, you know about Mr. Swartz, who was really one of the heads of Anonymous and one of the creators and owners of Reddit, who was going to fight a uh, fake federal felony case uh, against him for sharing information, part of the persecution of the free press. He said he was going to fight it, was getting married. They murdered him, hung him. But the feds all said he hung himself, so let's all just believe him. Since when does the media sit there and lapdog to all of this? We're going to play a clip later of Greenwald uh, with uh, Gregory, with David Gregory, where he says, with newsmen like you, who needs government to criminalize reporting? Because David Gregory says, maybe you should be arrested for reporting on the NSA. I mean, a total government lapdog. And for Greenwald, you are talking to the globalist government. You're talking to the corporate government. It's hijacked our government. And so when you see the press saying, oh, let's not investigate Breitbart, let's not investigate uh, what's happening with Michael Hastings, let's not investigate Aaron Swartz, let's not investigate this, they're complicit, folks, or they're scared. And don't the cowards understand when you all act like cowards and you all lay down, the wolves come. If humans acted like rabbits or deer, coyotes would kill us. Instead, they're scared of us. If we acted like prey, wolves would hunt us and kill us. But we don't. We're predator animals above them. Well, we're the apex predators, except groups of our own species organize to then become predators over us. We have a name for that. It's called tyranny. It's called gangs feeding on us. And good people need to get together under a code of the Bill of Rights and Constitution and common law into our own gang. It's called a republic. And anyone that violates it is an enemy. And if you engage in high treason trying to overthrow the republic, that's the real government, you are guilty and should be tried in front of a jury of your peers, given your appeals, and then executed. That sounds like radical talk. It's not. The, peop the people that have put our military under NATO and UN command are guilty of high treason. They have put us under a foreign power. That's why they're so arrogant now. That's why they're killing the press openly. That's a message to the press blowing him up like that. I'm, I'm going off the radar. They're after me. I'm going under. I'm going undercover. I'm going into hiding. And, and his, his friends are now in the news. Saying, it's really scary. He's never talked like this. I, I think something must have happened. Something's going on. Boom. Oh, something was going on. I've got a big story. They're after me. I've got to go under the... Radar, I've got to go into hiding before I break this. This is incredible. This is incredible. NSA, NSA, CIA, it's big. Boom. Oh, there's nothing to look at there. And they've told me in, in serious death threats over the years that I better shut up. And just in case you know who's sending the message, you notice there's nothing on caller ID. You notice it's blank. And by the way, we know what you're talking about. You just talked about this on the phone. So you keep your mouth shut and you back off. Or we're going to cut your head off. I'm not going to say the rest of it in case my family's listening. And they think they're safe to just murder whoever they want. And here's the difference. I can't shut up. I can't back down. They could have my kids lined up, folks, and I couldn't sell out to them. You understand that? They could have them lined up with guns in their head. I can't give in to these people. I can't say abortion's good. I can't say vaccines are good. I can't say GMO's good. I can't say fluoride's good. I can't buy into the lie, because that's what the intimidators do. 
They bring in all the intimidation and the subconscious messages that will kill you. And most people just get scared and go, I support the system. Spy on me. I hear that. I have nothing to hide. Don't come get me. You, you hear that everywhere. As if that's going to protect you. My instinct to fight these people is the good instinct. My instinct is for freedom. My instinct is to fight King George. My instinct is to fight Santa Ana. My instinct is to fight the foreign banks and Chucky e. Schumer. Because I'm alive, ladies and gentlemen. My guts, my blood, my genetics, my spirit, my soul, my whole being cries out and says, do more, fight them harder, get more hardcore, turn it loose, focus. You're going to die for this. Go all the way. And then I see all these men scared to death out there trying to hold on to the little bit they've got. You're going to lose it all, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't realize what we face right now. And let me tell you why the New World Order is scared. Roughly half the military, it was 40% just six months ago, that I talked to our listeners. I can just see people in uniform and walk up and go, hey, how's it going? And they're like, Alex Jones. While most of my unit listens to you, sometimes it's 90% of the unit. Usually it's about 40, 50%. And they go, but the others are starting to wake up. That's why the globalists in their own manuals are training a domestic army of traitors to say the veterans and gun owners are the enemy. They, they think they're going to have some purge. They think they're going to hunt us down. They think they're going to run psyops and blow stuff up and blame it on us so, so people won't fight back once the hot war starts. Let me tell you something, folks. I've studied military history. I've studied current events. I've talked to all the experts of the world. I am an expert on this. We've got the upper hand if we just use it. There are people throughout the government just waiting to do the right thing, but they need to see more people stand up. And that's why Michael Hastings went on national TV on multiple shows. We're going to play a clip of this coming up. First, we're going to play Greenwald tearing into the traitor Gregory. And he said, look, they're coming after the press. They're coming after basic freedom. We've got to organize together, withdraw all consent, and declare war on the national security state. We can, we can bring America back. And, man, that scared them because the globalists are committed. They have committed the crimes. They run everything, ladies and gentlemen. Anytime I have an inkling of fear or, 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 or the flesh goes, you know, you ought to just go on vacations and write books and enjoy yourself and just not push so hard and kind of cozy up to the system. And, and, just, and it's, it's, it's like, no, no, no. There are people who are slaves all over the world right now who are being tortured, who are crying out to God that we stand up for them. And there are all the unborn who nobody's standing up for, ladies and gentlemen. We got to stand up for them. It is not a choice at all. You think about the souls of the innocent, the men, women, and children who are being torn apart and cornered right now, and they're crying out to God. And God is saying, who will stand up against the wicked ones? Who will stand up for the innocent for me? The Bible says over and over again that God hates no one more than someone who's really good at heart, but who's a coward. And here's those calls, those spiritual psychic calls, and who does not answer them. There is no choice, ladies and gentlemen. There is a spirit. There is an afterlife. Religions can try to put names on it. Churches can try to put doors on it and make you think you go through the priest to find God. God is in our hearts right now. The spirit, God's spirit, the seed of the universe is in all of our hearts. And we have to simply open the door of our own heart. It's knocking right now. That's all you've got to do. And the fear, all of it will leave you. And then all you'll have left is the drive to stand up and do the right thing. And you'll still have the flesh and you'll still be wicked and you'll still have bad thoughts, but you will see it for what it is. And it will become smaller and smaller in your life. And then the horizons after God has, has, has torn you down, God will build you up after you've gone through the storm. But you will never, you will never develop, you will never taste the greater things in this universe that God has in store for us, that the eye has not seen, ear has not heard, mind has not imagined. If you will not take these tests now and prove that you are a worthy servant of good, you need that good report. You have free will. Prove who you are now. If you want to bring down evil, 
Change your heart today, and the world will change after it. Where are the good men standing against evil? So many good men have a sense of uh, confidence to them to the point of they think that they're being uppity if they stand up and become leaders, if they stand up and challenge corruption. And I've always known my great mission is to speak to men and women who are leaders and to demand that you start that journey against tyranny now. And it starts small in your own heart, in your own mind, and then it starts in your own life. It starts in your own home. It starts where you work. It starts where you go to church. It starts when you see someone who has an autistic child to walk over to them and say, hi, my name's, what, what, what sweet children you have. Uh, is, your, is your son autistic? Well, yes, he is. And how old is he? He's 10. What do you think caused it? Oh, uh, there's a lot of things. Did it happen when he was 18 months old? Yeah, it happened the, th the, the third round of shots. Yeah, that's what people say it is, but I, it's okay. You know, I don't mean to get in your business, but there are a lot of things you can do to try to detox, and he's already behind, but reverse some of that. I don't mean to get in your business, but here's some websites. Here's some news. And also, did you ever think this happened and that some good can be made out of this? Have you ever thought about other parents that don't know about this? Have you ever thought about warning them before it happens to their child? And they'll look at you and say, I, I never really thought of that. I, I should do that. Yeah, but you don't want to get in people's business, do you? I didn't want to get in your business here today. And I've done this so many times. I've reached right out to them and I've got them and I've said, we've got to save the children they haven't gotten to yet, don't we? And they'll look at me and tears will start rolling down their eyes and they say, yes, yes. In person, I have a lot more strength with people. I'm not good on the air, folks. I'm better in person, and so are you. And I see a pregnant woman with her husband, I'll walk over in a restaurant. I'll walk over in a grocery store, and I'll say, I bet you're being pressured to vaccinate. And I don't want to get in your business, but I have children too. And they're going to get in your business and tell you it's the law and stuff to take shots, and you need to take the hepatitis shot and all this all I'm asking you to do is read the insert. They're going to tell you that it's totally safe, no side effects. Read the insert. And they'll say, yeah, we were kind of talking about that just in the car on the way here. And then they sense the spiritualness of it, that they were already talking about it. And then there I was talking to them. You, God is there influencing through good people. But you've got to then feel that call and do it. You've got to minister to people. In your own little way, you've got to warn them. If you see the mayor of your town that's fought to keep fluoride in the water, you need to go to that mayor and say, I'd like to shake your hand and get him by the hand and say, if you love your grandchildren, you need to do the right thing and get the fluoride removed, even though lobbyists have paid you to make sure that poison's in the water. I want your card. I'm going to deliver to you at the city council the Harvard and University of Texas and hundreds of other studies, and you go in there with a stack of studies, and you tell them, you tell them, I'm here to bless you or I'm here in the name of God to curse you. And the curse is only the, the, the tort, the letter. You're on notice that you're on notice that this is killing people and brain damaging them. And here is a hundred studies that this is doing this, and I bet you... Filter your grandchildren's water, Lee Leffingwell here in Austin, Texas. How dare you laugh at doctors and scientists we've brought here to present this and walk out when we're, and how dare you pay a million bucks a year plus to put this in our water? How dare you? You either move to remove that fluoride out or God sees what you're doing and how you're aborting the minds of our children. And it's on you. You're on, you are accountable. You are on notice. Do you understand? Beware what you have done. Beware. These people need to be rebuked. 
They need to be put on notice. Just as people rebuked Saul of Tarsus before he became Paul, he was rebuked over and over again as he persecuted people until he was knocked from his horse and awakened. And that's how this will work. Some incrementally, some quickly. But you have to march with focus and strength to wake others up. I'm going to go to your phone calls. Dean and Ship and John and Jack and Rod and many others that are patiently polling. Rand Paul has done the right thing. And I told William Gein of Alley Pack and everybody, Rand Paul said if they have a reasonable bill for a path to citizenship for people that want to do it legally, uh, and it's not felons, and we don't give them a bunch of extra welfare, and uh, this, this current bill gets rid of the border uh, patrol, basically, and just totally is the North American Union. But if we have a good bill, I'll support it. Everybody's like, oh, no, he's compromising. And I, I, I trusted Rand when he said if it wasn't a good bill, he would not support it. And Rand Paul proved himself again. He has withdrawn support for it because it is now a manifest end of America, totally wide open borders, 30 million illegals, 48, 47 million by 2020, all being given welfare, free tuition, have their babies free. That's corporate welfare, basically a stimulus check to the illegals so that they can come here and work for stuff that nobody could survive on. They're getting given the freebies as corporate welfare to drive down the wages and bankrupt the regular economy. Just like the four or five million prison laborers is the biggest industry in this country meant to undercut everybody for 25 cents an hour. You're like, why don't you want the prisoners to work? No, no, no. This is designed to bankrupt the economy. And so Rand Paul did that, but the, uh, the uh, bill is, is unbelievable. IRS sent $46 million to one Atlanta household. It was 80-something million here in Austin to the illegals. With amendment killed, Rand Paul won't support immigration bill. Senators tout 70 votes for immigration reform, as Paul predicts. Bill already dead in the House. Schumer predicts mass demonstrations. That's our criminal government with a group of foreigners as a political weapon. It'll only get worse as more are brought in. That's the problem. It's being forged into a weapon. It's not reasonable. So that traitor will try to do that. Sessions, opposition to border security amendment will grow. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.